Um, well, I think you're going to like what I have to say because when we drafted uh, Jake Luton from Oregon State, I saw a quarterback on the board that wasn't even drafted, and you're actually very familiar with him, and I was super high on him, super high on him. I watched a lot of film on him. I watched a lot of people who talked about him. You already know who I'm about to say. Yeah, I, Jordan. I think that he is such a phenomenal quarterback. He has a lot of room to grow, but taking, taking Jake Luton at, you know, in the sixth round is just – abysmal when if, you, if, you, if you're going to take a quarterback at all and there's you know Anthony Gordon I think I called him Aaron Gordon but Anthony Gordon if he's on the board why don't you take him you know like same school as Gardner Minshew it makes sense same system he kind of, Gardner Minshew you know was a sixth round pick last year you know why don't we take another sixth round rookie out of Washington State who came out of the same exact Mike Leach air raid system he's sitting there Jake Luton I looked at I, I looked at his film i seeing missing passes and missing throws all over the field. And it's just like, why, why do you, why do you take, why, why do you take Jake Luton from Oregon State? What do you see in him? Because when I was watching him and evaluating him, I just didn't really see much. I thought he was going to go undrafted when I was doing my numerous mock drafts months ago. I was just like, there's no, I don't even know who this Jake Luton kid is. I watched film on probably 200 to 300 prospects coming in the NFL draft. And I just don't, it doesn't make sense to me. What do you think? Um, I wasn't a fan of that pick, and you know, none, not a whole lot of people were. You read any of the overall draft grades from the Jaguars draft class, and they were not high on the uh, Oregon State quarterback. And you know, you take, you talk about a guy like Anthony Gordon, who did come out of the same system as uh, Gardner Minshew. In fact, you know, they played in the same conference, both Pac-12 quarterbacks. And you know, Anthony Gordon is a dog. I've seen him. Li- I've seen him live. Uh, the game when I went and met Gardner Minshew was that quadruple overtime game against UCLA where he threw nine or ten touchdowns. And, and he's, a fun, he's a fun quarterback to watch. But, I mean, I think when you compare the likeness of Gardner Minshew to Anthony Gordon, I don't really see it there. I think Anthony Gordon, I didn't think he was going to go undrafted. I think Seattle's a good fit for him. I think with the coaching staff they have down there, they're going to kind of groom him to be – a successful NFL backup at the very least. But, you know, Minshew came into Washington State with, like, a whole different set of, you know, where he's been through, what he's done, everything like that. I don't think Anthony Gordon really has that high of a ceiling that Minshew did, but um, Gordo definitely uh, deserved to get drafted over Lutton, that's for sure. And I think at this point the Jags had already made double-digit picks. You know, you're not going to be happy with every single one that they make, and Yep. The six-round quarterback's been kind of a tradition for the Jaguars recently, getting Minshew, Tanner Lee. Um, this one definitely uh, rings more of a Tanner Lee vibe than a Minshew vibe, though. 